VRGS has the ability to georeference data from ground control points. So let's look at an example of how to do that. I'm going to load up a demo data set. This is the usual demo data set, but in this case, the mesh that we're looking at is not in its correct position. If we look within the data tab and open up the triangular meshes folder, within that we have the folder for the information about the mesh that we're dealing with. Inside that, there's a subfolder for tie points. If we switch those on, it shows the position of a tie point on the mesh and a vector going to where the target is for that tie, tie point. So that's the position we want that tie point to be in eventually. As we select the individual tie points in the data tab, we see in the properties tab, the position on the mesh, the target position, that's where we want it to be, and an error, which is the difference between the tie point position and its target. In order to add more tie points, we right click on the mesh that we're interested in and select make active and then activate the triangulated mesh ribbon tab here and we can select add GCP, add control point. So I'm going to add a control point there and then I'm going to add another control point here. These are positions that have been mapped with differential GPS in the field. If I open up the tie points, we can see tie point 4 and tie point 5 have been added. I have already imported a set of GPS positions. These can be imported or you can add them in manually and type the values in. To add one of these waypoints, these GPS positions as a target, I select the tie point that I want to use it as a target for. To get target position, I'm going to select waypoint 4. And then for this one, get target position and make that waypoint 5. And now in the 3D view, we can see those new tie points have targets associated with them. To correct our position, now we've got those tie points in place, we select the From GCP button in the Correction panel. And now we should find that our mesh is moved so it's much closer to the tie points. Now we can see from the tie points that they're not actually in the correct position. There's still an error. The tie point still have a vector going from the position of the tie point to where the control points are. And we can see the position of the waypoint, the GPS points, now in the 3D view. I can then look at the individual tie points and see what the errors are. And looking through the tie points themselves, it seems that tie point 4 has the biggest error. There's a plus or minus 1 meter error on that particular tie point. So there may well be an, uh, an error with the target position there, or with the tie point position. So I'm going to delete that tie point. And I happen to know that I selected the wrong tie point position when I did that first selection of data. So I'm going to go back to add GCP and the tie point I want is actually just there and I initially selected it up here. So tie point 5 is that new tie point. We can see it there and I'm going to set that with the target position of waypoint 4. We see the error vector appear now and then I should be able to select from GCP and now the model has moved to its correct position. We can look at the individual tie points and they've all got very low errors. And in addition, in our messages tab, we get information about the convergence. So that's as it's correcting the positions, the 
tells us how well the fit is or how much difference there is between different iterations. And then finally, there's a root mean square error for the final fit of the data. So before, the RMS errors were 0 0.6, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. After we've corrected that tie point, it's gone down to 0 0.01, 0 0.008 and 0 0.001. So we've got centimetre scale correction on that data. And just to confirm, if I load up the point cloud, which is in the correct position, we see that the point cloud and the mesh tie up their locations very well. You can use this georeferencing approach in addition to the method using the scale bars and the orientations as shown in the, another training video.